Welcome back. We're in the kitchen now with Chef Frank with a delicious dessert mm -hmm. that's healthy. And you said it's pretty simple. <laughs> Very simple. Is it Very calorie simple. free too? <laughs> no, it's not low calorie. It is gluten free though. Okay. So for all you who can't eat wheat or yeah, flour, this is a great option. perfect, perfect. And you can get this at Cappuccinos, by the way. This is on little the menu. plug. Yeah, this is on the menu. Okay. So this is a very simple dessert. Takes a little bit of time. But the hottest part about this dessert really is not eating the chocolate, for me at least. <laughs> Actually, when I was walking by, I almost stuck my hand yeah, in there. Yeah, <laughs> go right ahead. So I got a pot, right? Okay. And here I got some espresso, I got butter, mm -hmm. and I got sugar. Very simple. I just brought that to a boil, okay? And then I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to take my chocolate, which we use really high-quality chocolate. Mm -hmm. This is a 72% chocolate. Now, where can you get that if you're making um, this your own? You, usually, you can buy it at any store, but okay. this one here, we get it through our distributor. Okay. Okay? So, this is really, really oh, good yeah, quality exactly. chocolate. And you want to use the better quality, the you know, the better, better uh, recipe you have. Okay. So, once you get that chocolate melted, you oh, want to take it off the heat. Yeah, it, mel it melted really quick. And you want to buy small pieces of chocolate as okay. well. Or if you're using a bar, cut it up fairly small. Okay. So once we get it and once we get it melted, we're going to get it into our pot. Okay. Then we're going to take our eggs. So you want to make sure this cools a little bit because you don't want to have scrambled eggs mm -hmm. in your chocolate. How many eggs? This is here? six eggs okay. that I've scrambled. Okay. So I'm going to slowly add them in little by little. Now so why do you do it slowly? Because if you do it all at once, It'll, a, you'll cool off the chocolate too fast, okay. and if the chocolate's too hot, you'll scramble your eggs. Okay, okay. So you want to really go nice and nice and slow. And once you get that all mixed up, of course, there's no flour in here, so the eggs and the butter is what's mm -hmm. going to bind this all together. So just the four ingredients. Just the four ingredients. Oh, okay. You believe that? Then we get a nice 10-inch pan, mm -hmm. which I buttered. Okay. okay. And then you're going to take your batter, and you're just going to fill it in. Yeah, this is a really good dessert. Mm, it smells great too. It's like just pure chocolate fudge, <laughs> so my hey, favorite. That's the best kind. <laughs> it is the best kind. And so once we get that, get this out of the way. Okay. Make a mess. And then just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go into a bigger pan. No, why is that? This, we're gonna cook it in a water bath. Okay. Okay, so you wanna get a bigger pan and you're gonna fill it up about halfway with water. Okay. And you're gonna put it in your oven, 300 degrees okay. for 45 minutes. Now, it's still going to look raw, but it's not. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to take it out after it cools, mm -hmm. refrigerate it. How long? A few hours. Okay. Definitely a few hours. You want it to firm up. And this is the finished product right oh, here. Look at that. And what do you have on top there? That is a, um, a balsamic cherry sauce that we Ooh, make. Ooh, that yeah. looks A little bit of chantilly and some fresh mint. All right. You can get this right now at Cappuccinos. We'll also have it on our website at WBIR.com. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for being Good here. See you. All right.